Hey everybody, this is Matt with the Hardcover Comic, and today I'm bringing you guys a brand new video of a custom buy and overview that I picked up on eBay, so stay tuned. Alright, thank you for sticking around. Now before I jump in, just a couple of housekeeping things. Number one, we are this close to hitting 5,000 subscribers, which is a huge, a huge milestone for us. So please be sure that you like and subscribe. We are doing daily content, and if you make sure that that notification bell is clicked, you guys will also get those notifications every time we drop a new video. Also, we are brought to you guys by Dr. Squatch, which is an amazing 100% organic, all-natural soap company. I've been a soap subscriber there for the last six months. I absolutely love it. Maybe it's seven months now. I don't know. But I absolutely love it. It's an amazing product. I strongly believe in it. And if you click on that link down below, you guys are also going to get free shipping for the life of your soap subscription. So please be sure to check them out. Dr. Squatch is an amazing company. Also, last but not least, we do have a Patreon. So please be sure if you haven't checked that out to check us out on Patreon. The link is down there in the description. And what we do is, is for every dollar that you donate, we're going to, you earn a, a ticket basically as a raffle that we're doing every single month that you can win books, absolutes, omnis, deluxes, whatever the case may be. This last month was our first drawing, and we did the Harleen Deluxe Hardcover, which Surf and Skate won. Congratulations to Surf and Skate. Uh, we did get that ordered. It is being sent out to us via IST. And then once we get those books, we're going to do an overview on them on the channel, and then I or Mike, one of us, are going to ship those books out to you guys. Uh, so it's a really good deal. We're not keeping any of the money for ourselves. 100% of it goes right back into you guys. So it's a really good way that you guys could win some books for, you know, really cheap. Uh, obviously, like I said, the more money you donate, the more entries you get. So $2, two entries, $3, three entries, etc. cetera. Um, and, you know, we're going to also give away digital codes and things like that. We're going to do some custom buying giveaways. There's going to be a lot of other things that we're going to be doing down the road. So please check us out on Patreon. It does mean a lot. All right, now to jump into the meat and potatoes of what this video is all about, I picked up this book uh, on eBay for an amazing price. I think I paid 30 or 35 shipped, uh, so it's an amazing, amazing deal. Uh, but it is none other than uh, Tom Strong's Terrific Tales by ABC Comics, which was a uh, an imprint, I guess you could say, of like Wildstorm and like DC. They were kind of all owned by the same, but it was ABC Comics. Uh, written by uh, the Moores, uh, Alan Moore and Steve Moore. No, they are not related, but funny thing, Alan Moore actually credits Steve Moore uh, as being his his muse to teach him, basically, not miss his muse, but he was the one that he credits to teaching him how to write comic books. He didn't know how to write a comic script. Uh, Steve Moore is the one that taught him all those things. So he's kind of his mentor, so to speak. Not a muse, mentor. There we go. That's the word I was looking for, mentor. Uh, so this book is written by them, uh, artists, tons of different artists. The, the book ran for 12 issues. So this is the entire set in this little custom by an omnibus, custom by deluxe, really. I don't know what you want to call it. It's, it's kind of small, uh, but it ran for 12 issues. Now the original Tom Strong, which Alan Moore and Chris Sprouse did ran for 36 issues. I did buy those as well. Amazing deal again. Thank you, eBay. They are on their way to me once I get them. Uh, I'll do a quick overview, but then I'm actually going to send them off to Herring and Robinson to have them bound and get those bad boys back into one or two, maybe I'll have to see about the size, uh, custom omnibuses, which I'm super excited about. So this one actually took place a few years after Tom Strong, and it was sort of a spinoff, and it's called Tom Strong's Terrific Tales. And uh, it's amazing. Um, I've already gone through and read a bunch of this, and it's so much fun. Uh, the art the artists change hands multiple times and it's really cool because there's like a bajillion different styles of art. So it's not like one of those things where it's annoying where you're like, Oh, I got used to this style. Now it's this like each story has an art that fits to the story. And it's really, really cool. And each issue is, you know, kind of like four mini issues or three mini stories that go on uh, throughout the course of uh, the main issue. So there's 12 issues, but then there's like, probably 30 different stories within those 12 issues. Um, and it's just a lot of fun. They actually introduced a brand new character in this one called Johnny with an I. So Johnny Future. Uh, she's a brand new character in this book. Um, really cool kind of backstory and things on what happened with her. Then you get Tom Strong. You get young Tom Strong. Uh, you get Tesla Strong, which is Tom Strong's daughter. 
Uh, so yeah, it's uh, it's a lot of fun. Uh, I'll open it up here and show you guys, but this does not have any ribbon bookmarks or anything, but it does have the red and white tail bands. Uh, the bind itself is really good. I'm not sure who did it. It wasn't Haushin because it doesn't have like the Haushin sticker in there. So I'm not sure who bound it, but whoever did did a you know a really good, really good job. The quality is is amazing. So you open it up, and there you have the Tom Strong terrific tails. Um, and the nice thing about this is too is that these are bound from the single issues, um, and the paper quality is probably my favorite paper of of all time. It's sort of this mix between newspaper, which I love, but like a thicker newspaper and then almost like a mat. Uh, so I'm not sure what kind of paper they used back in like 2003, 2004 when this was written, but it is it is by far like the best feeling paper. I absolutely love it. Uh, so, you know, you're four pages in and the one story already ends and now you're jumping in over here to Tesla time, which that one is actually a really funny story. Um, you know, Alan Moore, did, Jamie Hernandez on art, uh, or no, I'm sorry, Jamie Hernandez and Alan Moore did it, uh, Matt Hollingsworth on colors, wait, am I reading that right? Sorry, Matt Hollingsworth on colors, Jamie Hernandez on art. Um, so it's sort of like a fun art style, so you guys kind of saw the first one, well this is sort of like a more, I don't want to say cartoony, but it's a more fun art style, right? Whereas then you jump into... Uh, the next story that's right after that one, this is young Tom Strong when he's growing up on his island and the art style is completely different and, you know, more detailed and, and what I would call what you're probably used to seeing, you know, in, in comic books as far as art goes, you know, same with this, this is where you get introduced to Johnny Future and I'm not sure how to pronounce that cheetah's name yet, um, it's kind of an interesting name. So then you kind of jump into, you know, giant robot fights. I mean, this book literally has everything you could ever want in a book. And the stories are a lot of fun. Uh, you don't really feel like that there's not enough stories. Like I said, they're, they're, you know, they're real short within a few pages. Uh, but you don't feel like you're you're missing out on anything. Um, you know, they do a really good job of telling a story in that short amount of time. Uh, let me see if I can find some of the other interesting art styles that I've seen. Uh, there was one, oh, one of the other nice things they had, they had the collect the set of the Tom Strong, you know, trading cards that were inside the comics. Has a little backstory in the, about the characters and everybody. There's some more there, the, the weapon, the grappling gun, etc. I don't want to ruin them all. So here's like obviously another completely different art style featuring King Solomon, which I love King Solomon. He's a super fun character, um, especially in the original Tom Strong series. Uh, he's probably one of my favorite characters, him and Newman. Newman's pretty good too. Um, but you know, and then you kind of go back to, you know, your stereotypical comic book style art. Uh, but I have to say, I really have to thank Mike for this. He was the one that actually got, that really kind of introduced me to Tom Strong. And he's like, dude, you got to check this out. I've been reading it. It's really good. It'll put a smile on your face. So I did. And he is uh, absolutely right. This book is so much fun. Um, I posted some pictures as well on our Instagram. Uh, one of them that I found that just sort of I found really humorous. Like, here's another completely off-the-wall art style that is completely different from everything else. You know, and some people may not like that. Some people might get annoyed with that, but I, I like it. I think it's funny. It, it works out really well. Or not funny, but, you know, sometimes the art style is funny. Uh, but I think it works out really, really well for for what it is. Um, there's one issue that I was, I should have marked it off, but there was one issue I was kind of wanting to show you guys. It is on our Instagram page. I did take a picture and put it on our Instagram page. So worst case, you guys can always go there, but oh, here it is. And then here's another kind of art style. And I absolutely love, 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 love this page right here. It's, it's really funny. Uh, if you guys want to check it out, you guys can, you know, go to our Instagram at the hardcover comic. Uh, but anyway, so that's it right there. It's Tom Strong's Terrific Tales, 12 issues. Uh, you can pick up all 12 issues in single format. 
for pretty cheap, you know, maybe 10, 15 bucks, something like that on eBay. So if you guys are interested, it is readily available. It's not like they're hard to find or anything like that. I just got really lucky with this already being custom bound and you guys know how much I love my custom binds. Um, but I got some more coming. I got another custom bind in the mail, uh, that I'm really excited to show you guys about that one. It's gonna, it's a graphic cover. So there's a lot more to show. Um, and then I'm sending off a bunch of stuff. I talked to Herring and Robinson. I actually got questions about this the other day. Someone asked if Herring and Robinson was still open for business because as we know, uh, Haushin is currently shut down due to the COVID and, uh, they are, I double checked today cause I needed to get some dust jackets, but they are actually shut down for the you know foreseeable future. They don't have an end date right now. Um, so I did reach out to Herring and Robinson and asked if they were still doing binds cause I do have a lot to send in. And uh, they said, yeah, they are still open for business. He said that they are running low on supplies, but as of right now, they still have enough to get orders in. So they are still open and they are still doing stuff. So if you guys are interested in custom binds, check out Jim at uh, Herring and Robinson. He'll be more than happy to help you guys out. Um, just let me get my books in first if they're low on supplies. No, I'm kidding. Uh, but yeah, so Jim at Herring and Robinson, good guy. They are open. Someone asked me about that. So I did confirm. Uh, but anyways, so thank you guys very much for absolutely everything. It is truly appreciated. Um, check us out, you know, like subscribe, hit us up on Instagram, Twitter. We're kind of active on the hardcover comic. And then if you guys need any DJs made, Ooh, Mike's going to make a DJ for this. He's super excited about it too. Uh, even though the spine's not very big, you can't really do a lot with that. But, um, if you guys need any DJs made also hit us up at the hardcover comic at gmail.com. So thank you. And until next time, the power is yours.